Ever wondered why someone would be in your good books or how two people could get on like a house on fire? Well, these are idioms, phrases that don't exactly mean what they say. They're used to express ideas in a creative or metaphorical way. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of idioms, specifically those related to human relationships. Let's start with the delightful idiom, be in someone's good books. This has nothing to do with literature, instead it means to be in someone's favor, or be well regarded by them. For instance, if you helped your colleague with a project, you might say, I'm now in the boss's good books. Ever heard of people getting on like a house on fire? This phrase doesn't imply a dangerous situation, instead it means having a very friendly and harmonious relationship with someone. For example, from the moment we met, we got on like a house on fire, we share the same interests. Now, making it up to someone isn't about fabricating a story, rather it means doing something kind or special to compensate for a wrong or mistake. So, if you forgot your anniversary, you could say, I'll make it up to her by planning a surprise weekend getaway. And if you take a shine to someone, you're not polishing them. You've simply developed a fondness or liking for them. An example might be, ever since we met at the party, I've taken a shine to her. Lastly, if you have a soft spot for someone, it's not about physical softness. It means you have a special affection or like someone very much. For instance, she'd always had a soft spot for her younger nephew. Now let's switch gears and look at idioms for difficult relationships. Being at loggerheads doesn't involve actual loggerheads. It means being in a state of strong disagreement or conflict. For example, they were at loggerheads over the decision, unable to find a common ground. If you're talking at cross purposes, you're not discussing crucifixes, you're misunderstanding each other because you're talking about different things without realizing it. An example might be, we were talking at cross purposes, I meant the project deadline, and he was discussing budget constraints. Having it in for someone doesn't mean storing something inside them. It means being determined to harm or criticize someone. For instance, ever since the argument, it seems like the boss has had it in for me. If you have it out with someone, you're not removing anything from them. You're confronting them to have a frank and honest discussion about a problem or disagreement. For example, I need to have it out with my roommate about the household chores. It's causing tension. If you rub someone up the wrong way, you're not physically rubbing them. You're irritating or annoying them. An example might be, his arrogant attitude tends to rub people up the wrong way and that's why he has few friends. Two-timing someone doesn't involve timekeeping. It means deceiving or betraying someone, especially in a romantic relationship. For instance, I can't believe she two-timed him after all he did for her. Keeping someone or something at bay doesn't involve any body of water. It means maintaining a safe distance or preventing something or someone from coming too close or causing harm. An example could be, Regular exercise helps to keep health problems at bay. Lastly, if you keep yourself to yourself, you're not physically holding yourself. You're being reserved and private, not sharing much about your personal life with others. For example, she keeps herself to herself. We don't know much about her outside of work. So, there you have it. A dozen idioms related to human relationships. Remember, idioms don't mean exactly what they say. They're a fun and creative way to express ideas. Use them wisely and you'll be in someone's good books in no time.